咱现在再来查查圣经，请恁听开。啊，这个是马太，是马可，去引导。马太福音第五章，咱必须第一节，读到第十二节。马太福音第五章第一节，读到第十二节。Matthew chapter five, verses one to twelve. Then, ah, then we will chant a song together. Let's sing it together. Matthew chapter five, verses one to twelve. Let's sing it together. Then, ah, then we will chant a song together. Let's sing it together. Then, ah, then we will chant a song together. Let's sing it together. Then, ah, then we will chant a song together. Let's sing it together. Then, ah, then we will chant a song together. Let's sing it together. Then, ah, then we will chant a song together. Let's sing it together. Then, ah, then 因为天国是伊呢，爱众的人有福乐，因为因得靠彼条安慰；温柔的人有福乐，因为因得靠承受无罪；饥渴无义的人有福乐，因为因得靠彼条满足；人衰人的人有福乐，因为因得靠蒙人恤；清心的人有福乐，因为因得靠得宽恤上帝；好人好福的人有福乐，因为因得靠称做上帝的儿女；为着接受得福的人有福乐。因为天国是伊呢，人来因为我入灭哩，得天灭，列祖达官台位归崩哩，恁就福乐，应当欢喜快乐，因为恁伫天顶的享受是煞，伫恁以前的先知，人也是安尼，得天灭。咱来来看咱的第四段，咱来将咱本周中心的经文，咱来解读两篇，咱两下文读两篇，马可一第一章二十七节。众人拢讲呀，伊比较彼此对问讲，这是什么代志？是一个新的道理吗？伊用观点、观点、念古规也听他了伊。马可福音第一章二十七节，众人拢讲呀，伊比较彼此对问讲，这是什么代志？是一个新的道理啊！伊用观点、观点、古规、念古规也听他了伊。多谢请坐。今天真正欢喜，各位有小家长目睭是打来传信息，啊，咱对真正小家长长对伊的眼泪信息，你着真大帮助。啊，今仔日咱着要将时间交给伊，今仔所要讲的就是伫马太彼个的主耶稣，啊，引导你下去做工作。继续阿头对战斗，我就会让你走，对大地和社会的质感。Let's bow our heads and pray for ourselves, our speaker. Maybe we can do something to solve the problem. To be able to work together, to be able to find a solution. 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 向您帮助，也帮助您强调您的这个帮助，帮助您就下面。圣经讲耶稣在第五四部里头里。There are four gospels which describe the work of Jesus in the Bible. 哎呀，别这四个人对我啥啥不方便呢？我查两个耶稣话给你听。And these people describe Jesus from different perspectives that we might have greater understanding of his person. Uh, the first one, uh, chronologically, is the Gospel of Mark. And out of um, 16, uh, portions of Mark, uh, 15 of them appear in the different Gospels because he was the first one and other people added to his account and yet there are also things in Mark that are distinct and unique to itself um, it ends with Christ about to become king and going to the cross um, the students, the disciples did not understand this. Uh, and there were these disciples, James, John, and, uh, and Peter, who were quarreling because they wanted power. 
James and John especially asked their mother um, to make a request to Jesus. And what did they ask for? And they asked that when, your king, uh, when Christ's kingdom comes, uh, they might sit on his left and his right. And Jesus said, uh, can you drink the cup I'm about to drink? And they said, yes, but that is just easier to say than do. And Jesus replied that even if you're able um, to sit on my light right or left, it's not for me to give. At that time, the Bible records that the disciples were not very uh, happy because they were envying each other. Uh, where is the focus of Mark? Uh, the focus of the Gospel of Mark is that Christ did not come to be served but to serve. It focuses on Jesus, the servant. And, that, and in fact, that he does keep serving and very quickly. Uh, Mark speaks of um, Jesus doing work immediately, immediately, um, showing urgency. Uh, Matthew takes a look at it from a different perspective. This is Jesus as king. Okay. Uh, the interest, one interesting thing about the Gospels is none of them mentions the name of its own author. And so you won't find the name Mark in the book of Mark, nor the name Luke in Luke, and John in John. And even Matthew, uh, his real name is Levi. And uh, the word means uh, he's united with God. And he changed his name to Matthew, which means the grace of God. If we read the Gospel of Matthew, its focus is on Jesus as the king who has come to his kingdom. Um, and so in Matthew uh, chapter 5, 6, and 7, uh, we see Jesus Christ talking about the kingdom. And later on, those parables that have to do with the kingdom uh, are also recorded most explicitly in the Gospel. And about the final judgment in the kingdom. And its relationship to our work and, our, and to our life is also here. Today we want to speak about the kingdom of heaven and about its king. It is not quite as clear in the Chinese Bible. Um, but the word is, uh, literally means the heavens. Uh, some people ask how high or how great is this kingdom um, if Jesus Christ uh, left today, um, he still would not have arrived. We know that light travels um, around uh, the earth once every second. Uh, it, it is very fast. Uh, Jesus Christ, um, uh, the heavens are wider. 
and yet a heaven is greater still. So, and so in the Lord's Prayer, I says that may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It also tells us uh, may your uh, kingdom come. Uh, glory, uh, power, and honor uh, is to him. Uh, Jesus Christ also um, pronounced uh, the, uh, the, the rules of heaven uh, or that is the laws of heaven. Jesus Christ speaks of the blessedness in heaven as being entirely different from that on earth. Um, here we speak of uh, five fortunes. Uh, there are people who uh, paste these kinds of sayings on their doors. They want to be rich, they want to uh, live a long life, they want to have children, they want to have a position. Uh, they want to be rich, uh, to grow to old age, have children, and have a position. And the last blessedness is that you could die easily. And so, um, there are five fortunes according to some um, You don't die in a car accident. Uh, you don't get burned to death. Uh, when you're dying, uh, your children are surrounding you. Uh, is there eternal life spoken of there? Let's remember that there is a great difference between earthly and heavenly blessedness. It speaks of being poor in spirit, mourning, gentleness, and peacemaking as blessedness. Because um, blessedness in heaven and earth are completely different. Um, whereas earthly blessedness is concerned with um, physical work, um, heavenly blessedness is uh, with the implicit character. And this is something that the Gospel of Matthew speaks of very clearly. It says um, to kill people is sin. And in, in, uh, in most cases, uh, you need proof and evidence um, so that the law can pronounce that person guilty. And yet Jesus Christ says that even if you already hold anger in your heart, um, that is already sin. Unwillingness to forgive is sin. In earth, uh, adultery is sin. You have to ca catch them red-handed and have proof and evidence uh, for them to be guilty. Jesus Christ says that according to heavenly standards, it is your thoughts that must be clean because when that is unclean, even then it is already sin. Uh, Jesus Christ says that God created the sun and it shines on both the righteous and the unrighteous. If you pass by Ong Pin today, uh, the sun uh, shines on both the good and the evil. Yeah, when we do good, uh, we do not uh, wish uh, for people to acknowledge it. Uh, another thing about the earth is that it um, gives a lot of, uh, it, it, it pays a lot of attention to fortune and fame. Uh, but the person whose heart is in heaven um, is different. 
I remember when my mother is old. Um, people said that you do not need to speak of her because she uh, is a citizen of heaven. Would you like to be praised in such a manner? Um, because you did not uh, quarrel with other people? Um, your peace of mind? Um, you do not blame other people? And forgives more than 70 times 7. And Matthew also speaks of uh, in giving up your own life, uh, you gain your life. We do not understand what this means. In the original, it is very clear. If you are willing uh, to give up the life that is here on earth, you get eternal life. What does this teach us? That is that we do not take offense at what people do because it does not matter quite as much as that life that is to come. Um, to bring peace um, is blessedness. Uh, to be poor in spirit is blessed. A person who is pure. Someone is humble. All these people have to do with all these people. Uh, have their thoughts in heaven. Uh, uh, peacemakers. When other people are quarreling and you make them um, uh, be reunited, that is blessedness. In Matthew chapter 4, it speaks of the devil bringing Christ to the desert. To so at the end of it, it says, um, You bow down uh, in front of me, and I will give you all the kingdoms. How did Christ reply? Um, I do not want these things, do not tempt me with them, because I want to follow God with my whole life. And so we see that the Gospel of Matthew makes us focus on things And so if you think that you're already doing okay, um, check again, because the Kingdom of Heaven is much greater than this. Or you might think that I'm already doing a lot of work and missions. Uh, there is still much more to the Kingdom of Heaven. When I was a student, I had a teacher who told this story. And later on, that story was even in the papers. It says there's a student. When he was in high school, his um, Mandarin was very good. Um, his calligraphy was beautiful. And so naturally, people um, praise the first the student. Uh, people had a contest. Um, they kept asking, uh, did you uh, win a prize? He says uh, he was not even selected for it. Um, the thing that was disappointing um, was that the devil was speaking to the and he says, I teach you. Uh, your calligraphy is beautiful. Uh, you can add a few things that have to do with um, men and women. Uh, the next day, people wanted to, to see his writing. And the devil said, uh, add a few more things. And people said, uh, his, his work has been published, let's buy it again and have a look at it. And so he wrote serials for people to follow. 
people praised him. Uh, someone who was now famous. Uh, very famous in Shanghai. Not yet married. Who are you going to marry? He said, um, the person has to be a famous movie star. And uh, so, uh, where does he look? He says, what I have is money. I'll go to the star. What do you want? And he brings out a pearl and says, uh, can you buy something like this? The actress will say, well, I can. And he says, that tomorrow I'll bring ten as a gift for you. And so people have not seen someone as rich as him. He used the money. He has a lot of it. Uh, because his writing was very popular. But it's because people were looking uh, for those um, uh, erotic things in his writing. And so later on, even before his work came out, people were already looking forward to them. And so he kept on writing. And then one day, uh, what came out of his mouth was not phlegm but blood. His wife uh, was uh, asked a doctor to come. It says that um, the whole uh, lung and uh, system uh, was not well anymore. Uh, he had many doctors. And they say it's not a matter of having doctors, but because uh, your sickness is terrible. And then many people were asking why it was that they did not see any more of his writings. So people knew he was sick. And some people said, let us visit him. And they were thinking what they were supposed to say. Um, people might have said, uh, uh, get well so that you can continue writing. But he was already very tired. And everything that comes out of his mouth is blood. And the wife was saying to these people, uh, he can't write anymore. And people were saying, why not uh, let him dictate and then you can write it down. And the wife said, um, you can just say it and then we'll transcribe it for you. And they wanted to see what he would say. Um, people were asking what else uh, he was going to write. And he said, uh, go away. Uh, and that was the only thing that he said. And this, uh, that's uh, what the scribe said. And the only thing he replied was, you all go away. Uh, the wife said, not just give them one or two lines so that we have some money. And the scribe came near to the The wife said, write, say anything. Matthew 16, 26. And so they asked uh, if anyone had a Bible around. What do you say? He said, Matthew 16, 26. What did you say? 
Matthew 16, 26. After he said that, he died. Jesus Christ says there, What will a man be profited if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Matthew 16, 26. What will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? What will a man give in exchange for his soul? May God help us. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus is King. Verse 27 says, For the Son of Man is going to come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and will then recompense every man according to his deeds. Again, speaking of the kingdom of heaven. May God help us. In the Gospel of Mark, it focuses on Jesus serving people. And it shows Jesus Christ helping people. Matthew speaks of Christ from a different perspective as King. Let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Because the kingdom of heaven is here. In the second chapter of Matthew, it speaks of Christmas. Um, the wise men came. Who are they looking? They were looking for a king. Do they get anything out of seeing Christ? No, in fact, they gave gifts. Look carefully at your Bibles. Uh, the, the kings did not bow before Mary. Uh, they opened their treasure chests and offered gifts uh, to Christ the king. May God help us. That the kingdom of God might come to us. Every time we pray the Lord's Prayer, uh, that His kingdom come. Where is the kingdom of heaven? It is way too far. If Christ leaves today, he would not be there yet. He would still be at the nearest star. This light travels quickly. And we thank God that our uh, Jesus Christ is King. If in our hearts Jesus Christ is King, then our hearts will naturally have love. It will not a quarrel. It will be forgiving. These are the things that Matthew writes about. Um, someone needed uh, 1,000. I did not have money to pay. And said, I have no money to pay. Uh, forgive him. 1,000. There is way too much. And yet this person who was forgiven much uh, went out and did not forgive someone who and demanded that he be paid and brought the person to court. When people heard this, they are unhappy. He was forgiven a thousand, yet he could not forgive ten. May God help us. 
刚好不容易啦。你逃就就好难啊，就太难。The rain comes down on the righteous and the unrighteous, and so when the sun. 这是天国工作。This is the kingdom of heaven. 所以你做这几多多。And so as a Christian. 马可家人就尽量服侍人，你服侍什么 ？Mark tells us to serve. Matthew reminds us we do this because we have a king. And this king is not the king of the earth, but of heaven. Yet if we do well, his will will be done both here and in heaven. If we do work for our king here, then we already have a part. And one day heaven will come. Jesus Christ will most truly be our King. When Jesus Christ was born, there were two names. One of his names is Jesus. He is called out. Saved. Pulled out of sin. He also is also called Emmanuel. Emmanuel is shown to be the Messiah, meaning God with us. Similar to him, what is the gospel? Man, the 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 you you don't um tell him uh, why did you learn how to swim? There's a kid who went uh, ran out of school, cut class. Jesus Christ comes and pulls him, saves him. And now that we are pulled out, God is with us, Emmanuel. Let's pray. Thank you.